right, everybody. Uh, this is the Tokyo International Forum. It's a big flea market with the wife who's shopping. So, um, this is kind of stuff. We're just going to walk through here. Lots of other guy Jean here. And uh, just kind of checking it out. All right, so. For all you architecture people, there's really cool architecture here. But I think we're gonna look at uh, kitsch and stuff. So, all right, we'll catch you guys later. All right, everybody, uh, this is Robin Marie. Say hi, babies. Hi. Um, we are at the Emperor's Garden slash Park. Uh, we just got off ABS station. And so, uh, this is pretty much it. Yeah, let's go over to the right and see what's going on over there. Something's going on over there. I don't know. It looks like. Why, it. Sure. I think you can rent bicycles. Is the whole the whole bit of it. So it's a great big park. And we just got some macaroons from Lauderay. Oh yeah. Snack Here you go. Macaroons from Lauderay. That's Marie's big thing. And we're thinking the special is matcha. Yep. Up. Oh, we gotta walk on the crosswalk, baby. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on over there, but. Looks like they're renting bicycles or riding bicycles, so. All right, that's all I got. Bye. So, this is kind of the uh, Emperor's Garden area. I actually kind of dig the uh, the moat. It's got like all the stuff growing in it. Kind of looks pretty cool. Um, this place is usually not open to the public. I think uh, one or two days of the year they allow it. But, I don't know, to me this kind of reminds me of like some really cool scenery, like you know, not even real scenery. Right. You can see the big wall up there and the, uh, the castle. Would you think... So you, you want a selfie yet, baby? Yeah. All right, uh, hold on. We're just going to take a selfie. Yeah, I want to... But I would have to think Sam works a lot better. So this is um, kind of outside the Emperor's Garden Castle Palace. This is actually the main gate. There's a secondary gate, so they did something kind of like what modern ATFP does, where there's a vestibule set up for gates, so you can't go straight and then straight. You have to take a right turn, and then you have to take a left turn after that. But I like this particular area. It's kind of cool looking. It's picturesque. It's surrounded by all the, like, the super Japanese tall skyscrapers around. Even taller ones on the other side of the building. And uh, as you can see, Japanese fascination with running. So, all right, babies, where to now? <coughs> all right, hey, everybody. This is uh, Robin Marie. We're at the Tokyo Tower. So, nice shot here from the shade. Roses. They're actually having a big Filipino, Japanese, American event over there, which is kind of cool. Um, Marie wanted to make sure that I shoot the uh, mechanical brightling shop. <laughs> go back over there but so this is it if you see it it's pretty tall so we'll go check it out and then we'll uh, I don't know, maybe take some shots from the top if the line's not too long if not we'll come back tomorrow so this is Marie again <laughs> we're inside the Tokyo Tower and it's kind of cool uh, we're kind of looking around the skyline we looked at going to the very top special observatory but the line is really long so I think this is going to be, just have to be cool enough. So, I'm just taking pictures. I want to say Rapongi's over on this side. Uh, this is where you come in. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think last time I wanted to go to that big building right there, the one with the cool roof. At night it's lit up, looks like a big crazy triangle. Uh, over there are some of the nice shops though, and the cool district, uh, kind of straight that way. I mean, we'll, we'll hit Rapungi in a little bit, it's no big deal. Um, This is 
pretty much basically a better view uh, as towards Tokyo Bay. And what you see below you is a Joji Park, or the Joji Temple. And uh, a little bit of an interactive display that the kids are all about. Um, what's special about, and I apologize for the poor graphics, not for the quality, but what's special about the Joji is it's a uh, Buddhist temple uh, or shrine for the um, unborn children that, that perish in whichever means that is. So, you know, I think it's kind of cool the Japanese recognize that that's, you know, um, you know, a, a tragedy or whatnot. In the United States, we tend to overlook that kind of stuff and just write it off and no one ever talks about it. So, all right, you want to move around, Bibis? Okay. So, we're going this way. Cool. Oh, baby, there's a pool over there. I'm surprised that the pool's not full. I think when I was here last time, it was. There's like a thousand kids in that pool. That yeah, blue thing over there is a pool. It's not full, is it? I don't think so. Um, it's still early in the season. Tokyo Bay. It's kind of cool. I kind of want to know what that silver ball is in the background, if you can see that. Um, action cams aren't like the greatest things ever to zoom in on things. But so, that's kind of what's going on. I don't know what that's about at all. <laughs> Is that like something they dug up when they were doing this? Huh. Kind of looks like a baseball. Someone, someone knocked the baseball literally like out of the park and that's where it landed. Yep. That's just that a whole brand new Wonder World Series. Yeah, yeah. So this is uh, a, a weird kind of a view of like the massive Tokyo sprawl that continues after you get out of kind of the uh, cool so side of town. From here to the mountains, not the yeah, <laughs> you got it. Tokyo is no joke as a city. So that's that's it right there. So this is the line uh, towards the special observatory at the top. And what you don't see here is that it's like Disneyland. That's like a part of the line. And then there's like seven different like hidden corners. Every time you turn around the corner you see another 30 minute wait line. When I got here, like I went straight to the pay section and it was still a long wait. So we're gonna skip that today. I'm kinda curious what those guy wires are. <laughs> they look you know strung pretty tight. Uh, you know, looking at Tokyo Tower's architecture, as an engineer, I mean, it's pretty stable looking. And I'm just not quite sure what those guy wires would do. Other than, looks like it goes to a maintenance area, so I, I'm assuming that they're for pulling up maintenance stuff without having to pull it up through the building. Which is pretty ingenious. Alright, and some cool soccer fields, and uh, that building over there. I think that's kind of cool stuff. So I think we're going to go check it out in a little bit. Alright, this is Robin Marie signing off. Say hi, baby. Thank you. Right. Here's a little bit of a bonus view for everybody. And this is basically what it looks to step right on. And yes, it does creep you out every time you step on it. Oh <laughs>
so this is Robin Marie at uh, Zojoji Temple. And this is kind of one of those cool things. Uh, it's unique, you know, I've been around the world a couple times. I've never seen anything like this. And it's uniquely pretty. So what happens is that the uh, parents who are trying to remember their child or honor their child, un unborn or that they died early at birth, go buy them a little head covering, go buy them a little windmill, um, go buy them some flowers and so on. And, so on. and that's how they uh, can remember it, you know. So, and some, I think you also do incense. So it's, it's just kind of cool, you know. And you know, some of the head coverings have been there for a while, and some are just, some are brand new. So, it's kind of one of the, uh, I don't know, I, I, I think it's one of the cooler parks. You put a little coat on them. Yeah. So, uh, Marie, what you don't realize is that uh, sometimes if the child died really young or that was a present for the child, that might be that, that child's clothes. Yeah. So, I don't know what's going on over there. But, uh, God, there's a lot. Looks like a group. Yeah, so it's kind of a cool place. Um, we saw this like little path, so we thought we'd like to walk down it. But that's all we got for right now. We'll get back to you later. All right, you ready, business? We can go look inside the big temple. Mm -hmm. I look some little uh, the wind fish. Someone bought their kid a thing of sake. A shower glass of sake for their kid. They're like, dang, man. Oh, a little bear. That's cute. Let's see what I'm So. They also do stuff here, I think, you know, for good luck. Oh. Alright, babies. I missed the one where it had the uh oh the 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 clothes and the and the And I, I didn't know this until just seeing it, but apparently part of the ritual is to, you know, bathe, you know, leave gifts and so on. Like, I, I kind of like this one where they, looks like they left that particular child's favorite clothing or whatnot, or maybe a gift that was supposed to be for the child. I've seen, uh, you know, like, uh, not teddy bears, oh. but the equivalent thereof. Yeah. The kids, kids got a do rag. <laughs> maybe that's the kind of kid he was. Yeah, maybe. Alright, that's all I got.